might have a Thanksgiving meal with some pilgrims. Or St. Patty's Day with my favorite brew. But this holiday I spend one way. It's only Christmas with you. I might spend President's Day with the Bidens or do Veterans Day with our Navy crew. But you know where I go when December winds blow. It's only Christmas with you. Our favorite holiday season with loved ones close at hand. A chance to see friends and family when almost everything turns out the way you planned. So while I might enjoy a Boxing Day knockout or a scary Halloween boo, please don't forget the best time of year yet. It's only Christmas with you. It's December time in the city and I'm here to help you out. In this hour, perchance, we're bringing song and dance to put the spirit in some Scrooges who might have some doubts. So while Mother's Day is so necessary, yet a birthday can bring on the blues. Please don't forget the best time of year yet. It's only Christmas with you. It's Christmas time in your household where Santa Claus makes the rules. So keep an eye on your gift spending. Oh, what am I saying? This ain't no April Fool. February may bring Valentine wishes and New Year's Eve a resolution or two. But there's nothing like the cheer this time of the year. It's only Christmas with you. Everybody knows it's true, it's only Christmas with you, it's only Christmas with you, it's only Christmas with you. Well, good evening everybody and welcome, welcome to Littleton Town Hall. We are here doing a Piano and Me Holiday Edition. Now, here, I want to give you a little bit of information about a piano me and, and me. I'm David Nels. That's the me. Here's the piano, of course. Now, I started doing these a piano and me shows to showcase my songwriting because I, I was at the Arvada Center for many, many years, and I, I never really got to showcase myself as a songwriter. So I started doing these shows at, like, the Clock Tower and uh, in Denver or at the Rockwell in Los Angeles or uh, Don't Tell Mama in New York. And it kind of caught on and it's, it was a really good time, I swear, you know, doing all these original songs nobody had really heard before and just having a really fun night. So I did this holiday show last year at the Clock Tower and I revamped it tonight. So you're going to hear a lot of original songs that I've written for various Christmas projects. Plus, I've peppered in a couple of old favorites and standards that you will recognize, I hope. Um, but I've learned something. As a songwriter, when you write a Christmas song, the best way to approach it is through the memory of other Christmas songs. Now, I'm not saying plagiarize, right? What I mean is, you want to evoke the memories of Christmas's past. And Christmas holds a lot of memories for me. I, well, I'll tell you what. When I was a kid, I grew up in a small town called Uniontown, Pennsylvania. We lived at 88 8th Street. And we had very specific traditions for Christmas. And these shaped my, my musicianship, my songwriting. Like... My father was very specific about decorating, okay? Now, nothing went up decoration-wise until December 15th, and that was only on the outside of the house. Nothing else. And then nothing would happen after December 15th, and we would see our friends putting up Christmas trees and whatnot, and, and my father would say, no, that's Santa's job. And it was very sad at first. You know, we were all kind of disappointed. On Christmas Eve, we would go to our candlelight services, visit my grandmother on the way home from church, and be in bed by 10 o'clock. The next morning, we would wake up, and people think I'm lying when I say this, but I swear to you, this is what it was every Christmas when I was a kid. You could feel the difference in the air. It was like 
it smelled different. I don't know. But you would wake up in your bed, get all excited, run downstairs, and we were in a Christmas wonderland. Pine everywhere, candles, those 1960s tchotchkes that were so wonderful, a gigantic tree, and a town underneath the tree, presents everywhere, and two very exhausted parents who swore that Santa did it all. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town, whoa, yeah, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows if you've been bad or good, so you better be good for goodness sake, you better watch out, you better not And little toy drums, Rudy Toot Toot and Rum and Tom Tom. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So you better be good for goodness sake. childhood Christmas years ago I couldn't sleep all night my Christmas list for Santa Claus was packed with she to rainbow bright would I get Teddy Ruxpin or Glowworm or a Care Bear filled with joy but what I found beneath the tree was a Christmas tin toy boy he wasn't what I'd wished for, not my little pony or a cabbage patch doll. A little soldier with a wind-up key wrapped up in mom's old shawl. She said, my mother gave this to me at your age, and he filled my heart with joy. A hand-me-down was all we could afford, my Christmas tin toy boy. For weeks he sat upon the shelf I didn't want to play But once I turned the wind-up key We played the day away Far off lands across the sea Or worlds beyond the moon What a shame it didn't last Because we all grow up too soon Today he's packed up in a box for me to pass him on. My perfect gentleman remains, but my innocence is gone. Now he's rusted metal and a worn out spring, and he still fills me with joy. I never, ever will forget my Christmas tin toy boy. I hope to be as good and true as my Christmas tin toy boy. 
So that song was called Christmas Tin Toy Boy, and, and it was written for the Great American Trailer Park Christmas Musical, the sequel to the Trailer Park show I had written. And uh, there's a picture that I would like to have you guys see. So I hope, boom, I hope it's coming up right, like right now. And uh, so this is me as a little kid, and I got this Tin Man robot for Christmas. I mean, I, it was just like 1969 or something. I freaking loved this toy. I slept with it. There were like dents in the wall by my bed because I slept with the Tin Man robot. And I loved it so much. And so I put it into this, this, um, this Tin Toy Boy song. And, you know, it was a, a sentimental song, but boy, I loved that, that toy. And when we were kids, here's another weird thing about our traditions as, as uh, a family at 88th A Street. That toy, that Tin Man thing, was from Freddy the Elf. Now, let me tell you about Freddy the Elf. My father concocted this character named Freddy the Elf because my sisters shared a room, and in that room was this weird attic entrance that I'd never seen anything like it before, It's or since, honestly. And it's a, in the middle of the wall. It's just a wood door, kind of spooky, and it led to a landing that then you had to push up on a plywood board to get up in our attic. And when the wind would blow, it would rattle both of these things and would scare us to death. And my father would say, that's Freddy the Elf, and he lives in our attic. And he is reporting back to Santa Claus as to who is naughty and who is nice. Now, it was the 1960s, and somebody living in your attic was whimsical and not weird. All right. So, Freddy was not only just a Christmas thing that we were obsessed with, it would go on all year. We would be sitting in the summer at dinner, and my dad would, like, jump out of his chair and run out of the house screaming. And we'd be, all, you know, what happened? Oh, it was Freddy. You guys, it's bad luck for you to see Freddy. So I had to chase him out of the house. So, you know, there's something beautiful about Freddy because as kids, you know, we all, every year we got a, a gift from Freddy. But then my sisters started having kids, and they would get gifts from Freddy. And then they would have kids, and their kids get gifts from Freddy. And it's grown into this thing that has kind of taken over the country, in a way, as far as our family is concerned. Because now all these kids, and, and to this day, I get a, a gift from Freddy the Elf, which I'm thrilled. So, to you and your family... If you want to give a great gift or a gift that makes you laugh or something that, that just is a fun, fun thing, give it from Freddie the Elf, because he would surely appreciate it. Now, this next song might be a scenario that Freddie himself might have witnessed while working at the North Pole. You see what I mean? It's Christmas Eve, and the sun's about to set place the North Pole, and it's awful busy, you bet. Except for one little room where the TV is all aglow, and the only movement is Mrs. Claus pacing to and fro. She's saying, listen, Santa, honey, you better get it in gear. It might not look good if you don't show up for a job that takes place once a year. So swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. You better swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. It's about time to do your you better swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. Bring that Christmas joy to every good girl and boy. And swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. That man did not move a muscle. As if there was nothing to hear. While Mrs. Claus just stood there fuming with the smoke coming out of her ears. She said, Listen, Santa baby, this is not the time to act so daft. At 1 a.m., those reindeer get time and a half. So groove, Mr. Santa Claus, groove. You better groove, Mr. Santa Claus, groove. Once again, it's time to prove that you can groove, Mr. Santa Claus, groove. You are the man with a big Christmas plan, so groove. Mr. Santa Claus Groove. Just then a voice came from deep out of that chair, proving that someone was actually sitting there. He said, please don't worry. 
and have no fear. I will not louse up this job that takes place once a year. Now, every child on earth will have their Christmas fun, but it's the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I gotta find out who's won. Your cool Mr. Santa Claus, cool. Your cool Mr. Santa Claus, cool. Mother Nature, don't get mad when you break the rules. Your cool Mr. Santa Claus, cool. With your reindeer in flight, you cross the world in one night. Your cool Mr. Santa Claus, cool. Swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. You better swing, Mr. Santa Claus, swing. Once again, it's time for you to do your thing, so swing. Mr. Santa Claus, swing. Merry Christmas to all, and, well, y'all know the rest. I got a good reason to put on my Sunday shoes. My baby's calling over and I just can't lose. I didn't think I'd see her Christmas and I must confess, I got no decorations and my place is a mess. So the tree needs some flocking, gotta fill up the stockings and get this place a rocking. All right, ain't nothing better than spending Christmas with my baby tonight. is really the best it's even better than having santa as my guest there is no one in the world as pretty as her and she won't come down the chimney wearing red with white fur put on my favorite christmas choir another log on the fire make sure the eggnog don't expire all right ain't nothing better than spending christmas with my baby tonight Turn the lights down low And make sure everything is just so It'll be a special evening For my Christmas Eve There's the doorbell Come on, let's go Jingle bells gonna jingle Oh, Chris gonna cringle Need the mistletoe will mingle All right Ain't nothing better than spending Christmas when that king comes and the twinkle lights glisten And we start into kissing all right Ain't nothing better than spending Christmas with my baby It'll be the best holiday No if, buts, or maybes Nothing better than spending Christmas with my baby tonight Christmas with my baby tonight Ah, that's fun all right, staying in the rock and roll vibe that I so enjoy, I'd like to do a real old school Lou Rawls Christmas song. I hope some of you remember this. Merry Christmas, baby. You sure do treat me nice Merry Christmas, baby You sure do treat me nice You got me everything that I wanted And I feel like I'm in paradise Feeling mighty fine Got good music on my radio Feeling mighty fine Got good music on my radio And I wanna kiss you, baby While you're standing underneath the mistletoe St. Nick came down the chimney Long 
song about half past three And left all these presents that you see before me Merry Christmas, baby Yeah You sure been good to me I haven't had a drink this morning But I'm all lit up like a Christmas tree Picture it, 1977, South Laurel Junior High School, right? I don't know why, but I decided I would audition for the school choir. So I did, and I made it in. I was in seventh grade. It was kind of a big deal. Seventh grader makes it into the school choir. Eh. And we had this choir teacher. His, the choir teacher's name was Rick Workman. Now, Rick Workman was this very cool, hip dude for the 70s. I mean, he was, like, he was like the Paul Williams of Uniontown, Pennsylvania. I hope that somebody gets that reference. And he heard something in my voice. I don't know why or when or how, but he asked if I would sing a solo for the Christmas concert that Christmas. And I, I had never sung in public before. I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. And I was a seventh grader, and I knew that that just meant, oh, I am, I'm going to be fodder, if you know what I'm saying. Well, he said, here's the music. So I took the music. He said, learn it, and then let me know what you think. And if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Well, I learned it, and then I did it. And it was the first time I had ever sung in public that Christmas concert of 1977 at South Laurel Junior High School with the Paul Williams of Uniontown, Pennsylvania, Rick Workman. And that guy, that Rick Workman dude, I don't think he ever realized how that moment reshaped my life. And from that point on, I was always a musician. I was always a singer. I was a songwriter. And it was at that moment in 1977 that it dawned on me. So in honor of memories from Christmas and writing songs that are evocative of other Christmas songs, I'm going to sing the actual song that I sang in 1977 at South Laurel Junior High School. So this is the first song I ever sang in public. I'm going to take off my hat for this one. I feel like it needs, to, needs some respect. I wonder as I wander out under the sky Why Jesus our Savior did come for to die For poor ornery people like you and like I I wonder as I wander Out under the sky When Mary birthed Jesus, t'was in a cow stall With wise men and farmers and shepherds and all And high in God's heavens a star's light did fall And the promise of the ages It then did recall
If Jesus had wanted for anything, a star in the sky or a bird on a wing, or all of God's angels in heaven to sing, he surely could have it. For he was the king. I wonder as I wander out under the sky why Jesus our Savior did come for to die for poor ornery people like you and like I. I wonder as I wonder out under the sky. So from that kid in 1977, I got real fortunate to write a lot of, of music and write music for the theater, which is my passion. And funnily enough, a lot of it was Christmas. <laughs> so, you know, the aforementioned Great American Trailer Park Christmas musical, uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas at the Arvada Center a couple of years ago. Uh, I was working for Carol's for a Cure, which is a subsidiary of Broadway Cares when I lived in New York. Every, every Christmas we did stuff. But the first full-length musical that I ever wrote professionally was a musical version of It's a Wonderful Life. And I, I, you know, I was a kid, man. I was like 25 years old. And I wrote this musical for this theater, uh, Toby's Dinner Theater which is still there. It's between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. And great, great place. And very innovative. They were, they were not afraid to be creative people in a dinner theater. It was wonderful, and still is. And so we wrote this It's a Wonderful Life musical that wound up being a big hit down there, and it, it did all kinds of stuff. And, you know, for about 10 years, it was, it was successful. So there was a song from that musical that I would like to do now that Clarence sings to George Bailey after he pulls George Bailey out of the water, you know, the first time they meet, and George thinks he's crazy, right? And uh, Clarence does his very best to try to cheer the guy up and become his friend. I've been an angel second class for over a hundred years. Other angels are starting to talk, but Politely so as I don't hear I don't know what I'm doing wrong But the evidence is clear That without my wings When Gabriel sings I won't be anywhere near It's hard being on the ground While everyone else is in the sky Pounding the pavement in shoes That I've worn since 1735 I got holes in my soles and my feet start to ache and I feel like I'm still alive. But in the scheme of things, you gotta have wings and that's when you've arrived. Yes, you gotta have wings. Mark my words, otherwise you're second string. Haven't you heard? Up there I have found, it's all over town. You'll get nowhere staying on the ground. Yes, you gotta have wings. I have seen it, you gotta have wings. And I mean it. You'll be in a spot, believe it or not. Mister, you gotta have wings. Now Teddy Roosevelt got his wings. The day after he arrived, Samuel Clemens gave quite a scare, but after a while they let him slide. Fred Astaire got a pair waiting up there And he ain't even died You see, the wings are the things you need on the other side Yes, you gotta have wings Then you can't lose Otherwise, you'd better bring a change of shoes Now please don't get yourself in a sweat I think you'll have a few years to worry about this yet So you gotta have wings 
may I repeat it, you gotta have wings. It's no secret you'll be in a spot, believe it or not, mister, you gotta have wings. You gotta have wings. It's a necessary thing. Mister, you gotta have wings. It's the wings. As I was rehearsing for this particular cabaret, I've done this, show, this song many, many times, but in our current situation, man, it sure fits. And there is a lyric that was written in 2013, I'm doing it tonight, I'm not changing it, and I don't want to hear it. But this song talks about being alone on Christmas which is something that we're all going to have to be kind of dealing with this year. So, the song is very positive and very uplifting, and I hope we can all kind of take the spirit of what this song is saying and utilize it for these coming weeks. Christmas will be empty Without you by my side But I won't be blue and lonely In this world big and wide Life is a mess when you're hateful and mean I won't be bitter, I will be squeaky clean I will do this day all by myself but I'll spread more cheer than that Broadway show Elf. And I'll share this heart full of Christmas for all in need. It's time to start giving, erase hate and greed. It ain't about what you hold close to the vest Make it about what sits inside every chest And share your heart full of Christmas Today and every day So bring on that tinsel and bring on those lights Bring on that Christmas sweater It'll make things seem right I can't eat enough cookies I can't drink enough nog And I'll watch every hour of that TV you'll log I'll wrap myself in Christmas cheer And in case I didn't make myself perfectly clear I'll share this heart full of Christmas for all It's time to start giving, erase hate and greed. No walking around like some sorry ass grump. I feel so good, I could even redeem Donald Trump. And he'll share his heart full of Christmas. Can you share your heart full of Christmas? Please share your heart full of Christmas. And every day, today, and every day. I don't want to hear it about that one line. I don't want to hear it. Well, gang, we have reached the end of our time together. Well, not completely. Still got another song and a half. But... I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the great folks here at Littleton Town Hall. So thankful that we are able to do something during this tough time. And I thank you guys for tuning in and, and giving of your time. And let's, you know, let's spread that joy. And it's the holiday season. It's the time for spreading joy. And I'm so thankful in our Colorado theater community 
that we still are doing it. We're, you know, as, as theater people, we're asked to adjust, right? So normal times, a director asks you, hey, can you adjust that? Or a choreographer says, hey, can you move your arm up here or whatever? It's what we naturally do. So I'm very, very proud of this Colorado theater community for coming together and adjusting. And adjusting in a way where we're all safe, still being creative, and still able to generate not only opportunity, but financial opportunity for these institutions that need to stay afloat until we can get back together and gather. Now, in that spirit, I put something up on Facebook on New Year's Day of 2020, because that's what you do. I mean, it's Facebook. That's how we all communicate now. I mean, it's like that old adage. If, if a tree falls in the wood and nobody posts about it on Facebook, did it happen? And I posted that I hope that the year 2020 brings us clarity and clear vision like 2020 vision. I had no idea. What am I, a psychic? And here we are. Things couldn't be clearer. It may not be pretty. But we have a much clearer understanding of ourselves and of others and of so many situations in our world. And this next song I'm going to do, it's not traditionally a Christmas song, and it's not an easy song to listen to, but it's a pretty damn good song, and it's a song that I think we need to hear. And I have to thank, believe it or not, Sonny and Cher, because I was reacquainting myself with 1970s variety Christmas specials back when we were writing I'll Be Home for Christmas at the Arvada Center, and I ran across the Sonny and Cher Christmas special, and they did this song. And it blew my mind, because back in the 70s, it was a real, you know, go get them kind of song, and it fits, the story fits the world we live in now, still, unfortunately. Now, I'm not going to end this thing on a downer. Trust me, there's another song coming after it that's more happy. But this is One Tin Soldier. Listen, children, to a story that was written long ago about a kingdom on a mountain and the valley folk below. On the mountain was a treasure buried deep beneath a stone, and the valley people swore they'd have it for their very own. Go ahead and hate your neighbor. Go ahead and cheat a friend. Do it in the name of heaven. You can justify it in the end. There won't be any trumpets blowing come the judgment day on the bloody morning after. One tin soldier rides away. So the people of the valley sent a message up the hill asking for the buried treasure, tons of gold for which they'd kill. Came an answer from the mountain, with our brothers we will share all the secrets of the mountain and all the riches buried there. Go ahead and hate your neighbor, go ahead and cheat a friend. Heaven, you can justify it in the end. There won't be any trumpets blowing come the judgment day on the bloody morning after one tin soldier rides away. So the people of the valley shouted, Grab your weapons, grab your swords, and they came mountain people and they won their just reward now they stood beside the treasure on the mountain dark and red turned the stone and looked beneath it peace on earth was all it said 
with one prayer this Christmas Eve. Think how much you can achieve to send good thoughts and show you care with one Christmas prayer. With one prayer your world can change. All the bad gets rearranged. You can make things right and fair with one Christmas prayer. A Christmas wish can grow and get bigger before you know. And if this wish you share, then others can fill the air with their Christmas prayer. With one prayer this Christmas Eve, deep down in your heart, believe your love is sent out everywhere with one Christmas prayer. We can change the world with one Christmas prayer. Good night, everybody. Merry Christmas. Be safe.